USA 250 is right around the corner, so we have to go back to the very first coin they made, not the bicentennial, the sesquicentennial. That will be the year 1926. You're looking at it, everybody. It is a gorgeous coin. Now, it's a unique coin because this is how they flattened it out. But when you go through the detail and you see the reverse, you understand why they did it this way. You're also noticing there's two dudes on this coin, right? George Washington's obvious, right? The president, our first president. But the other person makes this coin a U.S. Mint first in an only time in the U.S. Mint's history a first. So it's that, the first time ever for a dual portrait on the obverse. But it was President Coolidge, a living president on the coin. You're supposed to be, uh, well, you're supposed to be an underclub member, so to speak, to be on a U.S. coin. You can't be a living being and be honored on a U.S. coin, unless you're Nolan Ryan, of course. He has uh, a silver dollar, too. You're right. But this particular piece, as you can tell, has that just look and feel to where it's just Wow. They made this for the 150th anniversary of our beloved United States. The best part about it, however, is, is the number they made compared to how many they made for the bicentennial. Wow. They made 141,000 of these coins. For comparison's sake, the first time the U.S. Mint sold out a special issue was in the year 2001, the Buffalo Dollar. Remember, they sold 500,000 buffaloes, and they sell for more than this does. And this is the original 90% silver celebrating our lovely country. Another thing to think about is no walking Liberty half dollars were made in 1926. The average mintage, because this is walking Liberty time, the 1920s, the average mintage from the 1920s for the walkers was over 1 million. The lowest was the 21 day with 208,000. This one, 141,120 was the mintage. So minuscule mintage compared to the average of the walkers of its time. And again, the US Mint did it a couple of times. In 25, they did it as well. 26 this year here, they did it again because they wanted to bring special attention to a couple of these new dollars, or in this case, new half dollars they're bringing out to the public. And boy, it wins with this one. Boy, it wins with this one. The sesquicentennial, 90% silver. Our competition for high-grade circulated coins are at a buck 59. We are $30 less with a superior coin. It is outright special. Outright special. Celebrating the 100th and 50th anniversary of our Declaration of Independence in 1776 is this coin right here. So you'll notice the dual date on the reverse of the coin, 1776, 1926. It's that 150th anniversary. And the first time ever, there's a dual portrait, portrait on the obverse and with a living president. So you have George Washington and President Coolidge on the obverse of this coin. Again, limited, limited mintage. It was very minuscule, 141,000 coins. 129.95 for an uncirculated piece. We gotta put a 30 second clock up actually, guys. Competition, again, $30 more, but their coins are high grade circulated pieces. Our unks are $30 less. And again, yes, Washington's on a half dollar as well, right? Normally the quarter on the $1 bill, he's on everything else, but he's also on a half dollar from the year 1926. This coin is special. It's our first ever to commemorate, again, us, the United States. And it was never replicated again because he's on the obverse with the living president. And that has never been carried forward. Liberty Bell on the reverse, low mintage, beautiful quality, lowest price, it's a must.